Hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma, and welcome back to another episode of Morrowind. In today's episode, we are going to look for some artifacts. We are starting off here in... Beautiful? Yanis Renimus. I think that's the name of this place. Yan... Sirimus. Yan Sirimus. Okay, I was close. Like last week, we are starting off by doing a Daedric quest. And I think I've done this one before in the past. Pretty sure I haven't done it for... Yes, yes, I'm an Enwa. I'm quite confident that I haven't done it for this one because even though this quest and the reward for it, I can just dispose of your body. See, I, let me start over. I know I've done this quest before a long time ago, but it always feels like it's something I've done recently, so I'm not entirely sure if I have done it or not. I know that I haven't, but it really feels like I have done this before, and that is something to explore. Maybe I'll go down there as soon as I'm done here. Just a lock chest? Alright. I really should have been prepared for a lock chest if I was going to go into a shrine though. Uh, that's worth selling. That's okay. That, that is very heavy for how much it costs. Founder's belt? That's actually kind of cool. Reign of Transfiguring Wisdom. I guess it's decent. I'm surprised it's so cheap. Uh, nothing much really worth it, so yeah, we're done here. Alright. And I am going to want to equip a good weapon because this pearl here is cursed. A silver longsword? Eh, it's not really worth it. And is that something else in the center of the plate? No, it's not. Just the center of the plate. And the user must die. Must die. There we go. Of course, you could also. Oh. This is one of the problems with Shadow Steam. You never know if your enemy has really disappeared or not. Especially if they are a Demora. And that poison has lasted a long time. A long time. A very long time. Um. Okay, now it's fading. Alright, so this time we've got this guy who looks like. A cross between an Argonian and an alligator and Edward Scissorhands. Statue of Molag Bal. Oh boy, what a name. Why do you summon me now? I have no time for your pleadings, weakling. I have other matters that need my attention. Mentor now. He will pay for his insolence. Listen well. Those in my service will do my bidding. Or they will suffer eternal torment. You will serve me, mortal. Mentana has grown careless and lazy. He sits in his wretched cave while life on the surface goes on unmolested. He was spawned a creature of terror. His role is to sow fear and discord among men and men. Yet he is content to stay. His cave and mock my will. Kill him, mortal. Set his soul flying to the outer realms so that I might show him eternal torture for his disobedience. Take this key. You will find him in the caves of Corridor, east of Kokoroon. Kill this lazy fool for me, mortal. Do this, and you. Yay. Pogo Rune, we've been there quite a few times, I believe. We really should only have to go there once, but nope, I guess we're going to go there again. First of all, though, I want to see what's in this cave. I had no idea there was going to be anything back here. Well, maybe I did, but I just didn't pay very close attention. Uh, Is there nothing interesting, though? Is this whole part just sealed off? Not really sealed, but can't really explore it. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Let me in there. I'm... No, 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 no. Oh, fine. I'll go around. There. Who's in here? Anybody in here? Oh, trap door? I'm surprised it's trapped and not just locked. Maybe it has to have people test the door out and say, Oh, guys, it's not locked. We don't need our thief. We can just walk in and take stuff for ourselves. And they open up the door and boom. 
Hello? Looks like some living quarters. Oh! And appropriate enough, somebody is living in here. Where'd you... Come here, come here. No idea what he was trying to do with the yellow spell, but... Uh, for expensive stuff, that's not very expensive. Maybe for the commoner it might be considered expensive, but... Uh, nothing really interesting in here. And... Summon Golden Saint is nice. If nothing else, you can use that to trap a good soul. Some pretty easy stuff. Oh, well... Right, locked. And nothing really worth taking. Okay. Scroll of etc. I can take scrolls. And... Eh, at least a kite and short sword looks interesting enough. It looks better than it is useful. Eh, yeah, resin's not too bad. I don't know if there's any loose resin in the game. Alright, so I'm going to head out of here and I'll see you guys at Kogarun. Although first it may be in my best interest to give this place a mark spell because it's actually rather difficult to get to. Where's my mark spell at? Where's my mark spell at? There you are. Excellent. Alright. Now I'll head out to Kogarun. I'll see you guys when I eventually get there. Something interesting to note is that now that Dagothur has been defeated and the Blight is no longer a problem, the gates of Ghost Gate are taken down, so we can walk in and out anywhere that we please. It's kind of cool. Alright, off to Corridor. Here we are, Corridor. Okay, all we have to do is kill this guy and get out. The getting out will be the easy part. That certainly took me far too long to get here. This is a good place to hide, it's a difficult entrance. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 that's where I came in at. Or was it? Maybe it wasn't. The interesting thing about this enemy is that he is one of maybe two enemies that drops Daedra's skin. And all other Daedra's skin you have to get lucky enough to find in a loot chest or buy from vendors. And it is a very rare material too, so don't squander it. Especially as you need it for maybe one or two quests. Okay, now he's nearby, or at least one of his friends is. Probably just him. If another Daedra was out here hiding out with the... Huh. Hiding out with the... Traitor of Daedra or whatever, I don't think that they would be... Too well welcomed by their brothers later on. Oh! I guess his Storm Atronach is. Maybe they were brothers in another life or something, I don't freaking know. Oops. Out, 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 out. I'll just use this as a ramp. Nope. Oh. Kevin! It can't be that hard to get out, can it? What the heck? I really can't get out of here. There we go! Nope. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Wow. Deep pool is deep. There you are. Or, that's him back there. One of the two. No, don't hit me with the shock stuff. Shocky stick is bad. So here's a Daedroth. Daedra's heart. And here's a Daedroth. Daedra's heart. We're getting close. We are finding the right species now. Unless the picture I looked at earlier was lying to me. That might be him. I thought that was a rat I just jumped next to. Uh, yeah, Mentana. Did he really just not see me? Oh, I probably should have tried to talk to him first. If he's got a unique name and he didn't try to kill me right away. Oh well. Daedra Wakazashi, I can take that. Second barrier ring, that's cool. And Daedra's heart. Maybe he didn't have Daedra's skin after all. What other loot does he have in here? Gold, 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 emerald. Actually, the silverware plate is a little spendy, so I'll go ahead and take that. Then we've got... Oh, that's nice. A ruby, more gold. Cheap Potion of Shadow. Yeah, that's not even worth it. I am beyond the cheap stuff, unless I take them by accident. Ooh! What the heck? Did you just, like, respawn or something? I see a Flame Atronach behind you, too. No, that's just a... Just a torch. 
I'm taking quite a bit of damage, to be honest. Nidroth dead. I hope that was everybody. I would hate for one of the uh, creatures in here to come try to look up on their friends and say, uh, I think we need to go talk to him because we haven't seen him in a few days. He's probably getting a little too reclusive. We should try to talk him out of it. They come back here and everyone is dead. So for their sake, I kind of hope I killed them all. The Book of Daedra. Yeah, you really need that, don't you? Spirit Strike Green. It's kind of spendy for what little it is. Nothing really too worth it. Although the Daedric Staff is pretty nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Here we are. We'll be back. Let's get our just rewards and then get out of here. You have freed the soul of Mentana. Torment will be his. Endless anguish will be known until the end of time. And use it well. Bring strife and discord with you wherever you may travel. Now, go! Yeah, jeez, he was quite forceful in the end there, ain't he? The Mace of Molag Bell has been added to your inventory. A very powerful weapon, I think, probably. Let's find out. There it is. Mace of Molag Bell weighs a crap ton of... Wait, that was... that made no sense. Not worth a ton, but worth quite a bit. Absorb strength and magic for 30 seconds. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good, actually. It's good against warriors and mages. Alright, cool. I'm going to do a little bit of inventory management here, and then I will see you guys in, of all places, Vivek. Okay, here we are in the arena in Vivek. What we are looking for are the canal works, strangely enough. Doesn't matter what place this is, we're just wanting to get to the canal works. We are on our way, believe it or not, to yet another Daedric Shrine. Arena Storage, is that it? Yeah. So both Shea Gorath and this place are part of the... Uh... Do, 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 are part of Vivek. It's very weird to me, but... Oh well. And it's not just a Daedric Shrine that we're looking for. We're looking also for, in a sense, a faction that I'm not going to be able to join because I've done so much Thieves Guild work. That's uh, appreciated. Thank you. Also, chances to increase my security are very appreciated. And now for this one over here. Back in here is cloth bolts and a chest that I can unlock, which I am also very appreciative of. I doubt there's going to be anything interesting in here, but yeah, at least I'm taking a look. There's gold. Yeah, okay, I'm interested in gold. And a lot more gold. And an iron tonto. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, journeyman, journeyman, journeyman. Yeah, none of those are really worth it. And there's another rat in here. Yes. We're heading down to the Arena Hidden Area, as soon as I unlock it. Now we are in, of all places, the Morag Taunt Headquarters, and I am the Master of the Thieves Guild. Okay, yeah, so this is uh, dangerous. Hi there, lady. She thinks I'm the Nerevery and she's not going to say anything more. Okay, that's a little bit of a thing I dislike about this quest about uh, the main quest is that everybody's going to greet you in the same way on the mainland, which I'm not too appreciative of, but that's kind of what we're doing here. Here's the altar to Mephala. Can I activate it? No. We have to speak to Taros Drawl. Greetings. Perhaps you can be of some help to me. There are sensitive matters to attend to. I don't care, but what are they? The great Daedra Mephala has given me information that must be acted on. If you would be willing to work with me, I'm certain Mephala would be grateful. Okay, sure, whatever. Excellent. There is a member of our brotherhood living in Balmora, Balian O'Mavel. He has been freelancing, if you will. This is unacceptable and he must be removed. Unfortunately, his brother is a rather important member of our brotherhood, so it would be difficult to bring it to the attention of the others. Use this poison in his food. It acts swiftly, as should you. Yeah, we need to act very swiftly. And, um... 
I think I'm going to leave a mark spell here too, just for ease of everything. Okay, and now we're going to head off to Balmora. This is a very difficult quest, and I'll sort of explain it on my way out. They say that we're not supposed to be seen, but we can do this entire quest while being seen. The problem is that we have like five seconds while we're in range of the guy and his house to pull this off. So, <laughs> it is far from the easiest quest in the world. At least certainly not one that you can do sort of half-heartedly. Oh, no, 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 you gotta rush this thing. So probably the easiest way to get out of here is to take this boat back to the foreign quarter, then take a silt strider back to Balmora. Now that we're in here, I believe that his house is... I'll do it on the map to make this easier on me, because, like I said, we've got a small time limit to do this in. Up here. No, that's Hisindri's. Drossa Arethan. Eastern Guard... There we go. So it's right under my house. Alright, the easiest way to do this, I figured out, and I remember this from years ago. I have no idea how this stuck with me. We need to jump onto the roof, unlock the top of his house, get in there within five seconds. I don't think I'm going to have very much time for, shall we say, failed lockpicking exercises. So, I need to stay a certain distance from the door and him. This is... <laughs> This may not be easy. I may make it look easy, but I don't know how close I'm going to cut this thing. I don't know exactly what the certain distance is. I sort of do, but it's measured in a way that I don't understand. So that's the trapdoor right there. So, jump over there, unlock it, get in the house. Jump, and unlock in. Maybe I'm making it look much easier than it was. Here's the cauldron. Would you like to place the poison in the pot? Yep. Poison placed in the pot. boop a doop a doop He's not gonna need that after tomorrow. And, uh... Incident in Necrom? That might be interesting to read through. I see something about vampires and illusion schools, crazy people, something about destruction, and a dead sorceress. Cool! And that's it. We're done. All right, now it's time to recall out of here and see what we get for this. Three blessings, Sarah. How about one blessing? Give me a reward. You are very covered up. I thought you were a wood elf, but no, you're done for. You're done, Mer. All right. What is it, Kevin? Have you? Yes. Well done. My father wishes to speak to you directly. This is a great honor for you. Approach her altar. All righty. Good enough. You have done well, mortal. There are some things that must be done to preserve the order, and it will be amusing for me when this business comes to light. I look forward to it. Take this ring, mortal. Through the brightest day, it will carry you with speed and stealth. Leave me now. Bye! The Reign of Khajiit has been added to your inventory. Much better than the Reign of Shadows that I kind of skipped over and or lost before. Reign of Kaji, invisibility for 30 seconds, that's amazing, and fortify speed 10 to 20 points for 30 seconds. This is a getaway reign, and sometimes, early on in the game, you may need this a lot. I don't know if I'll ever use this, I may eventually end up dropping it off back at my house, but... Is there something I can do for you, Alka? Give me all your gold. <laughs> don't rob the Morag Ton, that is a stupid thing to do, and it will quickly lead to your death. Stupid responding rats. There we go. So that's going to be the end of today's episode. Two data requests done. Very quickly. I am happy about this. I don't know if it's something that uh, gets us too closer to getting all the artifacts, but I'm pretty sure we have a lot done now. I'll let you know next episode how many we have done and how many are left, which is almost the same thing. So for now... Thank you, everybody, for joining me for Morrowind today. Next time, we are going to... Well, this, this might be a little bit redundant, but we are going to get even more artifacts next episode. Mostly artifacts, but we are going to do it in a very fast way. I'm going to do a sort of artifact rush. Now that I'm very good in both speed and security, maybe sneak, I am going to 
well, you'll see next episode. I'm rather excited to try it out. And if we're lucky, we may get a very powerful, very rare, and outlawed weapon. I'll say no more than that. Thank you for joining me, everyone. See you next time. Take care.